it's Kathleen. I am back with another Thrift With Me video. I actually filmed an intro on my way to the um, estate sale. However, I quickly realized that I bought so much at the estate sale that I was going to have to break up my Saturday thrifting into two videos. So this is the estate sale portion of it. So watch the footage and then make sure you pop on by so you can see the haul. Hey guys, last day sale and it is jam packed, jam packed. Hope I can still find something. We shall see. What the hell is this shit? Shit sell, yeah. I mean, bed head cells, y'all know my love of toiletries. Okay, so I'm digging through and there are some hand soaps in pumps and then, um, well, obviously some hairspray and I snagged that for myself. But then there are some other like conditioner type things and my internet wasn't working because we were totally in the sticks in the middle of nowhere. And so I wasn't able to look them up and I ended up leaving them until I could get better reception. And then I figured, oh, let me just grab them just to be on the safe side. And they were gone. But that's okay. I did pretty good with the J Crew yeah, and with the um, bedheads. I feel like this is good. to take you away two bucks that is beautiful Uh, 
Great vintage piece. Size. One X. Oh, darn. Oh, that's just the hanger. Yeah, we're gonna give this a shot. If I can get it off. Cynthia Rowley. Oh. Good for a shot. Size two X. Dad got it. There. It's killing me not to look this stuff up. Oh. Yes.
Are you finding any pillowcases in there or not really? In what now? I, did you find any pillowcases in there? I haven't found the pillow. I was just looking for that one set that I, I honestly don't think I've seen any. No, pictures. I haven't either. <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing. Okay guys, so I spent a total of $50 even at the sale. I think I did pretty good. This was Joel's estate sales. Joel is typically pretty pricey. Um, however, on the last day of his um, estate sales, he always is a fan of the bundle. So I never disappoint. I always throw a lot in my bag because I know he's going to cut me a deal and this was no exception. So $50 for everything. I'm going to pop in right here because I already filmed the flatware after I had gone through everything and kind of processed it all. So let me pop that in here and then I'll show you what I've got in my Ikea hey guys, bag. So this is all of the flatware that I got today. This was what I spent the most money on. He had this listed for 20 bucks, but remember I only paid $50 for everything. So I probably didn't pay more than $7 for this set. This is by Hampton. Um, and I found a similar set that sold for about $45. However, this is not a complete set. Um, still have to look a little closer because I can't find an exact comp for this decoration. I can only find the colored handle, um, but not the same, I don't know what you call this, the same attachment. It's a little bit different, so I'm not sure if they're the same set. But I should probably get about $20 to $25 for that. Then I also liked these Ginsu knives. So these were, well, you can't really see that, the Ginsu because it's super old. These are vintage Ginsu knives, the ones that used they used to sell on TV when I was a kid. Probably won't sell for much more than five or six dollars a piece, but still, again, he did me so well on the bundle. These are just some like random pieces. I have no idea about these spreaders. I like the cool little vintage wooden handle, and these are from Japan. Um, these were really interesting. So these are condiment spoons. And I saw a set, a larger set that went for like 10 bucks, so I may not get much for them. But, you know, again, very easy to photograph, to ship, to list, to store, all the things. Okay, so then there is this set. I still have to find it online. Um, I haven't been able to find the comps, but I haven't tried that hard. This is a Cambridge vintage set. I've sold Cambridge before with a lot of luck. Of course, I have to get my um, solution on that to get that all cleaned up. Um, I will flash the comps okay, up there. So I have got these five lonely pieces of Oneida that came in this set, and I am definitely going to list them. I haven't been able to um, scour the internet yet to see what pattern it is, but Oneida is the king of flatware, so for sure those are getting listed. This is just some random World's Stainless, another random. 
what is this one? This one is Orleans stainless steel. So these will probably just get donated. I think I'm going to list these. This is the brand Delco, and these are just five soup spoons. But they are in awesome condition. Okay, so when I saw these, I was doing a little jig because I was like, oh yes, it's more of the Oneida pattern. But alas, it is not. These are a cheaper version, not a better version. These are gonna get donated. They're just some random, like I think it says brandware on it. And then this is Delco also. So this is Delco Barcelona. So I do have to look a little bit deeper into the comps, but I think that might be halfway decent. I mean, it's only two forks at the end of the day. So how decent could it be? Um, this is just a random. This is Echo Best Life. I don't know, but. And then this is just an iced teaspoon. And this is by Brandware as well. So. A lot of stuff that's going to end up in the donation pile, but I think I have enough to have made this worth my while of digging into all of the flatware. Now all I have to do is get it listed because I am really good at picking up flatware and I really suck at getting it listed because of the cleaning. Okay, but I'm gonna so I picked up these size large vintage sealed in the package men's thermal shirt they look to be about the from the 80s they could potentially be earlier i'm not really 100 percent sure i've looked everywhere for a date there is none um but this should sell for around the 20 dollar mark this is beautiful simply beautiful this is robert lewis or robert louis gorgeous asian style jacket in a size large it is 100% silk, no, 75% silk, 25 poly, and it has matching pants, and the pants have the same embroidery stuff on the cuffs, just beautiful. Also, 75% silk. So, when I looked online, I found a men's version of this. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, if these are like lounging pajamas, I don't know. But the men's version of this sold for $45. So I'm pretty sure I can get at least $30 or $40 for this. So also not a bad pickup. Oh, two things I threw in just because of me. I love a good hairspray. Um, and this lady owned a beauty salon. So there was a lot of beauty products. They had been really picked over. And then just some clips to add to my collection. I loved this. This lady was into pigs, like majorly into pigs. Um, and I was trying to like pay attention to the brands, but there were a lot of like cheap pigs <laughs> for lack of a better descriptor. Um, and so I didn't really stumble across anything that I thought was great. I was really keeping my eyes peeled for this version out of France, which I'll flash the name up there because it totally escapes me right now, but also looking for Tiffany um, style piggy banks, but I didn't find either of those. But this is vintage Odagiri and it's this adorable little music box. Um, and I loved it. It's just darling and it, the pigs go back and forth on the seesaw and it plays a little tune, beautiful. Found comps for this, um, I wanna say it was like $24.99 and they accepted best offer, so. Anyway, cute, cute, cute. Okay, sticking with the vintage theme are these Vanity Fair satin slippers. Sadly, they are not new and in the package, even though I thought they were because of this little tag hanging off, but when I looked at the bottoms, they've clearly been worn. Probably should still get between 15 and 20 bucks for these. Um, I don't, I don't know. Department 56 just draws me in every time. This is a hairstylist ornament. Probably not going to get much more than 10 bucks for it. But again, I was all in for 50 bucks. Okay, these were a disappointment because I thought these were going to do well. These cute little spreaders, they're probably only going to go around 10 bucks. And then these, I don't know if I'm going to do them together, the fork and spoon set, or break them apart. I was, I was really not finding any comps whatsoever, but how cute are they? Look at the little beading detail on the handles. Just really adorable. But even if I get worst case scenario, 15 bucks for all three, I'm still ahead of the game. 
Okay. I've been steering away from vintage clothes. Having said that, I have a lot in here that are vintage. This is a brand that's not familiar to me, Romans, but I picked it up based upon style as well as size. I love all of the animal print details. Look at all the bedazzling and the glitz on this denim. And it is a size 1X. So I really feel like this is gonna go somewhere in the $25 to $30 mark conservatively. This is something by Cynthia Rowley, I think. Maybe her sweaters will do better than the forks. Um, and this is in a size 2X and it is a wool blend. So that's why I picked it up. I liked the style. I love picking up an open cardigan. I didn't see any pulls or anything, but there is a significant amount of pilling. So I'll just take my sweater shaver to it. Um, it is, like I said, a size 2X. So probably going to get somewhere in the neighborhood of $30. I did find something similar to this that sold for $45, but I really think that was an outlier. I don't think I'm going to get $45 for that. This, I couldn't find any comps whatsoever, but you know, I love to pick up new old stock. So that was an easy one to throw in. Oh, for my friends who love nylons. I found three pair. I don't think they're terribly big sizes. This is medium tall. Although she was, she was um, plus size clothing. This is a size B. So size B, yeah, this is a teeny tiny size. But how cute are these, the um, vintage legs? And then no nonsense. If you're not already picking up new old stock of nylons or hose or whatever you want to call them pantyhose you need to be because these suckers move they don't go terribly high but they move they do not stick around long at all okay i threw this in just because well because it's stamped made in japan and it's a set of six hankies and these are vintage vintage i mean probably from the 60s i would think i mean back when belk which is a huge department store around here was handwriting price tags. These sold for a dollar. I couldn't find any comps on these, but I tend to do well with hankies. I have sold them before. I will pick them up again. They do pretty well. Okay, this is Hello Y2K. This is IB Diffusion. Not known to me, but look at that fabric content. Silk. So this is 58% silk. 10% Angora rabbit hair and 2% lamb's wool. Yes, please. It's got super duper um, shoulder pads. I thought I found one bedazzled that was hanging off. Yeah, this one. So I'm just going to go in and put a stitch in it and tighten that rhinestone up. And um, I'm going to flash the comps up there because the, the sold is escaping me because I looked up so much stuff today. But it definitely had a very decent sell-through rate. And what size is this? I think this is a medium. This is one of the few mediums that she had. Yeah, it is. It's a medium. Okay. This was just, how can you not pick up an ornament that's a six pack of beer? Plus it's new and in the package. Maybe I'll get $5 for it, but it was super, super cute. Sticking with my theme of picking up toiletries. This Nexus stuff is only sold in hair salons. So I should probably get 15 plus shipping for that. This was a huge find. I wish they had more of these. This maxed out stuff sells for between 40 and $50 online. And by online, I mean eBay. I don't know why I said online. And then these are just meh, but they are J. Crew grooming sprays. And again, I will probably lot these up together, I would think. Um, maybe I'll get 15 to 20 for these. I just loved these plates. How cute are those? And this is vintage Fitz and Floyd from 1979. I'm really not good with my Roman numerals. I think it was 1979. They were five bucks a piece. Now these are the dessert size plates and wah wah, they don't sell so well. Um, the mugs sell really, really well. Or if you had the whole set, that would sell well too. But even if I only get $10 each. I'm happy with that. And TBH, I might keep one. No, I can't keep keeping this stuff. I'm keeping more and more lately. 
Okay, and then the last several items are all vintage, new old stock sheets. And they are all patterned. So I did not pick up any of the solid sheet ones, mostly because I didn't know what he was gonna charge me for them and because I know that the patterns move way better than the solids. Um, and also a lot of the solids that I saw there were um, twin size. So these are double, this is a flat sheet and a fitted sheet. So matchy matchy, there were no pillowcases. That was a bit of a bummer. Me and some other lady were on our hands and knees digging, looking for the pillowcases, no such luck. Then this is twin fitted and twin flat sheet. And then I threw in this twin flat sheet just because it was patterned. Then the last two are King, Martex King fitted and flat. So all in all, pretty decent pickup. And that is everything for this estate sale haul. As always, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button down below, throw us a comment, hit the like button, and I will catch you next week. Bye guys.